Hello beautiful ladies. If you're watching this video, chances are you are contemplating having a hysterectomy. I have a previous video where I speak about having a Novashore ablation, trying to avoid a hysterectomy that didn't work out much. I had the Novashore ablation. I'm going to go ahead and leave the link below. And that ablation didn't do much for me. All I did was I exchanged the heavy periods for excruciating pain. That's it. And I did it for an entire year because I kept thinking this is gonna go away. Something is gonna change. I'm sure the Novashore ablation is an amazing thing and it's gonna fix itself at some point, but it did not. So month after month, six months after, the doctor was like, let's give it a few more months, but I was in pain, like in bed. I couldn't walk, I couldn't lay to my side, I couldn't sit, I couldn't stand, like everything I did hurt because I felt like my uterus was contracting and trying to have a menstrual flow and I was spotting constantly throughout that week and it was no fun I really would have preferred just the heavy flow than all the then all the pain because it was a lot of pain so finally I am I finally decided to have the hysterectomy after speaking with my doctor I was living in Naples, Florida at the time when I had the Nova Shore ablation, moved to Michigan. So I saw another doctor there and she was amazing. Trust and believe that the type of doctor that you have does play an important role as well. Because I feel that if you're kind of like a number and they don't know your lifestyle and they're not listening to your heart when you're talking to them, um, that plays a big, a big part. So the doctor that I had in Michigan, she was absolutely amazing. She told me right out the gate, the Nova Shore obviously didn't do much for you. You have scar tissue that has formed in part of your uterus. Your uterus is leaning forward. Therefore, when they went to do that procedure, they missed a little bit of it because of the way the instrument needed to be. I mean, there's just so much. Our bodies are so delicate. They're so complicated too. So, um, she said, I'm going to go ahead and do a laparoscopic hysterectomy. Of course, I didn't want to do a hysterectomy. I really didn't because I was afraid my ovaries would come out and I'd jump into menopause immediately. And of course, that's what she said. She's like, if I take your ovaries out, if I go in and I see something wrong with your ovaries, I'm going to have to take them out. And when I do that same night, you're going to have heat flashes like you're 43 years old and you're going to be already in menopause. So I was trying not to stress out about that because my estrogen levels are high and I still have another seven to 10 years before I even get into menopause. And I would hate to jump in like that. She did mention one of my fears was having a C-section. Kudos and my hat is off to those who have had C-sections and had their babies that way. I never did. I had all my babies naturally, including a breached birth. The very last one came out, but first, yes. So, Thinking that being 43 and going through a C-section, it's not the same as when you're in your 20s going through a C-section. So I thought my body's gonna take longer to heal, it's gonna take longer for me to heal, and I just don't wanna go through the pain of all of that. She mentioned I'm gonna do it laparoscopically, so I'm gonna go through your belly button, I'm gonna have three little little um, scars, you're gonna have three little scars for the instruments to go in, but it's gonna happen through your belly button. If for some reason I go in and I see nothing but scar tissue because of that Nova Shore ablation, I'm going to abort, take everything out, and cut you open. So I need you to sign here. Oh, and that was a little devastating for me, but I signed. And I said, if, there's, if she can't see, what is she supposed to do? So it would be, rather than a three hour surgery, it was gonna be a six hour surgery. And I, didn't, I just don't like being under that long. Thankfully, three months ago, I had my hysterectomy. The procedure went perfectly well. Thank goodness. It was exactly three hours long. She visited me and mentioned that my ovaries were intact. Everything was beautiful. I had to, they had to of course take my cervix, my uterus, fallopian tubes out. And that's exactly what they did. The process of healing was excruciating. Like all the stuff I heard about the healing process was absolutely true and a hundredfold. Like it was horrible. I was with my mom, so the gases that stay trapped in your body is where the pain is. It's not even so much the incision or none of that. It was just the gases that stay trapped like in your shoulder blade, in the side of your ribs, like it's crazy. 
and movement is what takes care of that. I did not take a lot of the drugs. Um, I took it maybe like for three days and then that was it. I just, I, I walked with the pain because I did not want to get the constipation. I did not want to get addicted to the stuff because that stuff was really strong. And I don't have a thyroid, so it caused a lot of like palpitations and I just didn't like the way it was making me feel taking the drugs so I kind of for the first two weeks which is where the pain is during those first two weeks um, I was strong I said you're superwoman get it in your head this is it and um, it was six weeks six to eight weeks of no sex um, you have to just be very 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 careful and I can say that I went to visit her um, she checked everything out I have what they call a vaginal cuff. I know this is like super TMI, um, but women are probably the ones that are watching this video anyways. So they take out the cervix and they sew the top of your vagina. And you have to be very careful because if something goes in there before you are healed, your intestines can come out. Yes, you heard me correctly. Cause there's nothing there. There's no cervix, there's nothing, there's no uterus. So everything kind of like settles in and you feel that like the first two weeks when I'd lay like to my side, like I could just feel this weirdness in my body, which was super weird. But thankfully I feel great. I've never felt better since before my thyroid surgery in 2014, which I have videos of if you have, if you suffer thyroid issues, which is the whole reason why I had the hysterectomy to begin with, because taking out the thyroid causes heavy periods. And I never suffered heavy periods. My periods were perfect all the time, on time for exactly five days. Like I never had issues with my period until my thyroid came out. Once that came out, that caused then the issues, which then leads me to the Nova Shore ablation, which then leads me now to the hysterectomy. And girl, I feel so good. I am in love with the way my body feels. I feel great. No, I have no symptoms of premenopause, nothing. My body is the same. Sex drive is the same. I have no issues. What I love is that I have no more panic attacks. I have no more anxiety. I don't know how that all has something to do with the other, but girl, it does. I'm telling you, we're all wired with our hormones in such a way. So please talk to your doctor, ask questions, um, let them check you out to see if this is something that's going to be great for you. You're never going to, someone told me, Liz, you're not going to regret the decision because it changed my life. And this person who spoke to me, she's a traveler. She travels, she does a lot in her business. And when she said it to me, and I think she's a little younger than me, when she said it to me, I said, well, I think that I'm going to hold on to that. And that's going to go the same for me too. And she was right. It's the best decision that I made. I'm so glad I did it. I always put vitamin E um, oils and stuff like that on my, my little scars that I have. It's just three very small ones because, you know, I want to still look good. And I'm excited about life. I'm excited about this new chapter of my life. I'm 43 and the next 10 years are going to be amazing. No more pain, no more struggling, no more anxiety, no more heavy flow. And I feel great. So that's my update. Girls, I went through three years of just heavy flows, a horrible Nova Shore ablation, constantly sick, undernourished my vitamin levels were horrible i was passing out all the time I, it was just ridiculous and i'm glad i made that decision so laparoscopic hysterectomy thumbs up for me i absolutely love it nova short ablation i do not recommend i think it's just putting a band-aid on something but again that's just my opinion thank you so much for watching and i hope this has been helpful to you